Marvin Jordan of the men's basketball team. And as we look at this season, there's lots to get to, but coming up very soon, we've got Canisius, which is rivalry week, rivalry time. Um, in your second year, second year here, what is it like to be involved in that game? What did you learn in, in year one? Uh, pretty intense rivalry. Um, first game against them, I didn't really know what it was until I got to the gym and saw the fans and how they were heckling us and things like that. And that really let me know that it was intense and it's a very, very tough rivalry for Naira. How long into the game did you take to, to settle in or was it on alert the whole time? Like you knew it was a rivalry week, you could feel the whole time. Yeah, I knew, I knew it was a big week because practice picked up and everybody was talking about coming to the game and everybody was uh, telling me that they would be watching. So I knew it was a real big week for us. Well, you guys have Canisius on the way somewhat soon, but let's talk about this season. You, as a returning player, are a bit of a veteran. It's a young team. You know, we know about three freshmen that are contributing a lot. You've got a number of freshmen on the team. What's it like to be one of the elder statesmen, to be like an older guy, even though you're only in your second year? Well, I know a little bit about what they'll go through, so I try to help them out in every way I can, um, encouraging them, pushing them, making sure that they're working hard, and just letting them know that, that the guys that are returning are here with them, and we all go through whatever we go through together. How much of an adjustment is there from year one to year two? Um, leadership, bro. We always get new guys, so it's real important to make sure everybody's on the same page and that we're all working hard, and that we're all encouraging each other. Coach says you guys are close, like you're getting there. Mm -hmm. The record might not be what he wants to see, but that he's seeing inside of games you guys are close. Do you feel the same way? Yes, I do. I really do. Um, as far as playing together, we've been uh, uh, maturing in practice and on the court. And off the court, we've been getting along well. But during the season, it's just, it's just gradual for us. And we'll make the jump pretty soon. Was there a moment this season where you, you saw the team, you could kind of feel that you were starting to get it? Is there one game that really feels like that's the way that Niagara basketball has to play? Um, the, the first game, when, uh, the home opener against Connecticut, we were down early. But we fought back. And that first game showed us that we were able to play together and be strong and be a tough team to play. Now, playing for Joe Mahalik, what's it like to play for him? I love playing, playing. I love playing for uh, Coach Mahalik. Um, he's always encouraging you, and he's making sure that you're doing the right thing. He's never telling you to do anything wrong. It's always to help the team and to help us as players. Now, you said leadership was something that you kind of stepped into, uh, this being your second season. With Anthony Nelson leaving last year, we talked about him a lot last year in terms of how to be a leader, practice habits. Did you, would you say it's fair to say you learned a lot from him? I did. I learned a lot from Ant. Um, learned to, to play hard at all times, to stay positive, and to just be a tough player. Are the things in there also about learning how to be a student athlete, like how to balance practice and games and, and work study and all that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, coaches help us out with that. They prepare us mentally, and we, we do a good job with it ourselves also. All right. Marvin Jordan here on Purple Eagles Weekly. Best of luck in the future and, uh, of course, for Rivalry Week against Canisius. Thank you. Thank you.